you know, growing up as a young girl, I always thought that there's a lot of time that I had. And, and that, was, that was the truth then. It looked like there was a lot, I had a lot of time, you know, at my disposal. But of late, God has begun dealing with me in terms of the urgency of accomplishing destiny or accomplishing purpose. Hi, this is Sitem Church Online. My name is Marcy Valerie Ogutu. Join me as we discuss the topic, the urgency in accomplishing purpose. Of late, God has really been dealing with me in terms of the urgency to accomplish my purpose and the destiny that He has for me. And probably you're also watching this and you are in that particular period where there's an urgency. There is, you know, there's an urgency that God has been really pressing upon your heart that this needs to be done and it needs to be done now and not tomorrow. This is one thing I've learned about time, that as human beings, we all have equal allocation of time, but it's the way we spend the time that differs. And the quality of people is determined by the value of time, okay? And so in the book, in the Bible, in Romans chapter 12, verse 11, God tells us we should never be lazy but we should work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically, okay? And I love the KJV. It says, do not be slothful in business, but be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. So God has given all of us an equal amount of time. But it depends on how we're going to spend this time for us to reach our God-ordained destiny or purpose. And when it comes to issues or when it comes to whatever God has ordained for you to do in terms of your purpose, there has to be some sort of agency so that you do not waste your life and waste your time doing that which God has not ordained you to do or called you to do. You know, time can either be wasted or time can be invested. So you have a choice to make. Either you're going to waste time or you're going to invest the time to do that which God has called you to do. But what God has been teaching me of late is the urgency to do his purpose and to do his, uh, whatever he has ordained and called you to do. So you need to, there needs to be some sort of urgency some sort of this has to be done because if you do not step up and do it immediately then probably you know in your lifetime you're going to miss out on the blessings that God had ordained for you and so even as you watch this video today I'd like to encourage you to find out what is it that God has ordained you to do and go to him in prayer and begin to ask him because there has to be some sort of urgency. There has to be some sort of not slothfulness. We should be fervent in spirit, enthusiastic in terms of accomplishing our God-ordained uh, purpose and destiny. And just some certain pointers regarding time is that life is measured with time. Hence, your lifetime is used to describe your period on this life. That's why we say your lifetime. So your lifetime is the period of time that you had to live on this planet. But you know, but what did you accomplish with the time that God gave you? Okay? And time is designed for exchange. Time should not pass by without some sort of exchange happening. So which means when you wake up in the morning, as you go about your day's business, what have you exchanged for time? Have you exchanged, you know, um, your skill, your progress in something? There has to be an exchange. So time should not be allowed just to pass. There has to be some sort of exchange that is taking place.
okay? And wisdom is the capacity to number your days and to maximize your time. I repeat that again, that wisdom is the ability to number your days and to maximize your time. And so I'd like to encourage you once again that go to God in prayer today and get to find out God, what is, what is that thing that, that has, there's an urgency, there's an urgency to it, like I need to accomplish this in my lifetime. I need to do this in my lifetime. I need to build the kingdom of God. I need to, you know, um, if you're working somewhere, I need to be able to influence this place before I live in this lifetime. Thank you for watching. We'd like to connect with you, Father, on our social media platforms. Catch us on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram. Get a, let us know what you think um, about some of the topics that you're actually bringing um, to you. And let us know how we can also pray with you and stand with you. Thank you for watching once again. God bless you all. Mwah.